Hello, my name is David. I am a team member of Teachers Joint. Um, this morning, I would like to introduce or, or teach you or show you how to install any Android app on your computer with ease, without any problems. So, in order not to waste time, um, the first thing you have to do is have you seen this interface? It is emulator, it is Android emulator, and it is called LD Player. So what you have to do is to first get this app from Google and then install it on your computer. Just get this app from Google. Google it. You you, you see it. Then you download it and install it on your computer. The thing is that um, it takes some amount of data when you are when you are downloading it i think 600 and something megabytes and that is that is huge but since you need it you need to make time uh, or make data available to to download it now when you finish downloading you go to your download uh, folder you see it over there and then, then you install it or you put it or you run it on your computer after running it on your computer, just open it and this interface will come. When you see this interface, it means that the app is ready to be used. Okay, now we have when you open the app or when the interface comes, you will see a lot of uh, uh, the very nice things. Like this, we have some apps already there from LD, LD Play Store. Or LD store here yeah. over there. You can run if you are interested. If you want to download any app from Play Store, you come here and then you type the name of the the name of the app that you want to search for, the name of the app that you want to run. You type it over here and it will be displayed for you. So I can run. Uh, you can run it. Okay. Now the thing is that if that's the first time you are using the LD player to uh, go to Play Store. It will ask you to, I mean, it will ask you to um, sign in with your username and your password. That's your email. So you just have to sign in with your email account and then it will allow you to enter uh, Play Store. But you need to get internet connectivity you need to connect your system to internet strong internet when your internet is weak it will not be able to connect so make sure you have strong internet here i think my internet i'm having problem with it it's it, it down that's why i see all these so let's go back home and uh, learn something about look at the interface so you see i've already installed some app over here um, alibaba.com i have this ms education management information system i have this aliexpress and when you come here is that some system apps? System apps that we have it on our phone or Android phones. Remember that this is Android emulator, and every app that you see here is related to Android. You can just run it on Android. So these are the things that we've been seeing on our Android phones, day in and day out. When I choose uh, uh, Calari, and I have pictures stored on this device, not on the computer, but on this emulator. Those pictures will just show. If I don't have any pictures, nothing will come. So you see that this one, I don't have any pictures um, uh, uh, saved or installed. So there are no pictures displaying over here. No pictures displaying over there. Okay. So uh, virtually or um, in reality, uh, this is how the whole thing works. And you can run any Android app. You can just run any Android app. Assume you have the Android app on your phone. If you want to move it, you just have to share it, and then you copy it to either your pen drive or something, your internal memory. You put it on your computer, and then you run it. When you run it, it will just move. It will just move to. Um, it will just move uh, to the app. Yeah. Yeah. So all these are Android. They are all Android applications. They are all Android applications that you can just download and run and then use it on your computer. These are all, and you agree, are thousands of apps that you can use.
thousands, thousands of them that you can use. Thousands of them that you can use. Now, when you install it, you get, I think you get notification in your email, email that you use to sign in, that Android, whatever, whatever, Android version, whatever, whatever has been installed and need to confirm it. You go to your uh, email to confirm that before it will be activated for you to open. So when you are installing it, you have to take note of all those procedures that will help you to have a successful installation, a successful running of all, or successful running of any app that you want to install. You see, sometimes when you are installing some apps on your phones, because of limited space, it will ask you that um, you don't have enough space and all that. You need to maybe delete some apps that are important, apps that you use frequently, some apps to just give you option to delete. And because you want to also have access and use the recent app that you want to install, you just have to go ahead and delete some of the apps on your phone, which you can use later for something important. So this will help you to install any uh, Android app that you want to you don't want to put on your phone to your computer so that it will prevent you from deleting some important or some useful apps temporary for uh, maybe uh, for other apps for for to give room for other apps to be put on your phone. So like I said, if there are some apps that you you don't run frequently on your phone, that only it's only there to take space. All you need to do is to do what? To take those apps and then install it on this emulator, LB Player 9 emulator, and it will be kept on your phone. Sorry, it will be kept on your computer. And any time you want to run it, you just have to connect to the internet and then start um, using it as simple as that. So I will just ask you to support teachers channel, teachers joint this channel with uh, your subscription, your likes and your shares. So uh just uh, subscribe to the channel, like this video and then you share with your friends so that you also become part of the family. As you also help and support this uh, channel to grow to a larger size. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And bye-bye. God bless you. Bye.